welcome back to my channel. Today I have an awesome video for you full of Hermes novelties. If you want to know what Hermes is releasing as part of their upcoming collections, oh my god, they have some awesome goodies. If you're new to the channel and you love luxury and travel and shopping and I have the most badass shopping vlogs on YouTube, okay? Make sure you subscribe. But guys, I'm so excited to share some of the goodies that I have seen Hermes kind of like putting out there that are coming in the horizon and I had to make a video about it because there are quite a few new things that they are releasing. So first of all, I have to appreciate that Hermes is trying to release some new things, some more modern things, I think to appeal for the more youthful audience because I feel like Hermes can get a little bit boring, right? Although I will never get bored of Birkins and Kellys and Mini Pochettes and Constance, I would appreciate if Hermes could come up with some cool stuff like other bags or cool clothes, more cool shoes. So I have fun stuff to buy to maintain my history with the brand so I can get bags, right? A lot of the times what happens is I'll look at the clothes and there's nothing really that rocks my world and I'll spend my money elsewhere. I appreciate the novelties, but I'm very curious to hear what you guys think about the things that I'm gonna show today. So please, please, as you are watching the video, let me know what you're thinking about the items that I'm showing because I think there's gonna be like some polarizing opinions here on this, okay? So the first thing I wanna talk about today is the Birkin that was revealed on Hermes last fall winter fashion show for 2021. This show happened in early March and first of all, let me say that the looks from the show were incredible, okay? They are winter clothes they were absolutely beautiful I love the prints I love the jackets you know the only thing is I live in Florida so you know I don't have much use for all of that stuff but I thought the looks were amazing and then in that fashion show they showed a couple bags that I want to talk about first one is this Birkin right here and guys this Birkin is a three-in-one Birkin which I thought was mm, very interesting so here is the secret about this Birkin okay the flap on it comes off so you can have this Birkin as a regular Birkin then the second look is you can take the flap off and have it as just a regular tote and then the third look is the flap that comes off can actually be used as a clutch which I thought was pretty clever now I heard a lot of people did not like this at all but I will tell you I kind of like it because here's the thing. I hardly ever use my Birkin with the flap covering it because you guys know it's a pain in the butt to get in and out of the bag. So what do I do? I put the flap inside the bag anyway and I carried it as a tote. What I like about this new Birkin is you can remove the flap and it will probably make the bag a lot lighter. My Birkin 35, for example, is heavy as hell. It would be awesome if I could take that piece out and I could have a lighter tote bag to walk around which 99% is how I carry the bag anyway. Now, a lot of people weren't fond of it. You know, on Instagram, the feedback that I got, a lot of people just love the old school, traditional, classic, fabulous, you know, Birkin bag. So would love to hear what you guys think of this bag in the comment section below. Please let me know your opinion. Now let's move on to something a little bit different so in this fashion show as well they released this lipstick holder so you guys know Hermes has released their line of lipsticks which are fabulous by the way I love them and now you know with the trend of the ultra super minis out there and Chanel is like running with this trend if you look at Chanel's latest releases they have like mini tiny little bags that you carry in your neck you have mini little bags that are part of your belt they launch like a super mini vanity case that you can like kind of carry just the the small little strap so that is a thing right now and I think Hermes is jumping on this bandwagon by having this lipstick holder that you can carry around your neck now I mean would I carry a lipstick holder around my neck hell no <laughs> I don't think so I don't know maybe if I'm in a pool I don't even know if I would in a pool because then the sun you know I would have that mark on my neck I don't know I don't know what to tell you maybe it would be something cute to have hanging from your bag I think or hanging from your Birkin or your Kelly you know with your Hermes lipstick then I think it would look super cute right finding a way to maybe hang it from your belt but I don't think from my neck is something I would ever use now the 
third one that I want to talk about is this also from the fall winter 21 fashion show, which is this kind of like iPhone holder. Now this is something that I would totally wear. So here you have room for your essentials. Like you have room for your phone, your lipstick, and then you have room probably for some credit cards and some cash. And I think that that is like a super cool look. I could totally see myself like in a vibe. I don't know, Miami afternoon. I'm going to Miami design district with a cute dress and I'm carrying kind of like my tech case from Hermes. Do you know what I mean? I think that is a vibe that, that can work. Now I feel like that is for a very specific type of customer. I don't think everybody will love that. I think a lot of the Hermes customers are kind of like old school, old money, don't like change. But I think the younger crowd will dig. You know, if you, if you think about all of the things that Prada has been launching, a lot of super mini stuff, stuff for your wrists, stuff for your arms, the cool, like the young hip crowd digs that. And you obviously will be a lower price point piece as well because it is a small bag. What do you guys think? Would you wear? Would you carry? something like that would love to hear your opinion now okay before I continue to talk about bags I want to switch gears for this Hermes launch that is giving me a heart attack okay a heart attack you guys don't understand have you seen the makeup releases coming up from Hermes I'm just going bananas, okay? They are releasing new lipsticks, they are releasing a line of blushes, and they are gorgeous, guys. The lipsticks are pink, the packaging is pink, perfect for my vanity, perfect for my bathroom. I wanna buy them all just so I can have like this set of super cute, pink Hermes lipstick sitting on my vanity. I'm going bananas. And then they're also launching, you know, the brushes for the blushes. Can I say that right? Also have like pink in their packaging and they are launching a regular brush and then a shorter, I think you call it like a kabuki brush, something a little bit shorter and compact that you can bring in your bag. And I think that they are absolutely fabulous. And then the packaging on the blushes, I believe they have like something like 13 different colors for the blushes. And I love the packaging because it's very modern. And then it has the gold Hermes crest on top. So think about you like, retouching yourself in a restaurant and you open your Hermes crest case and you look like a bougie ass bitch putting your blush. I mean, right up my alley guys, right? I mean, that's us. That is us. We are bougie. Okay. You are here cause you gotta be bougie. Cause I only talk about bougie stuff. So this is right up our alley. Now the other thing that they are launching with this makeup release is this case It's like a mini bag that you can put your lipstick and you can put your blush inside. It looks absolutely adorable. So chic for you to like, walk around with your little case, like super foo-foo, with the lipstick, with the blush. Now, here's the stickler for me with this case, is how much is it going to be? The price will determine if this is something that I would buy or not, you know what I mean? If this little case is like $3,000, not gonna happen. It's super cute, but not $3,000 worth for me, unless you are a baller. If I was a total baller, of course I would buy it, but I'm not a total baller, okay? Now, if it is like maybe a thousand, fifteen hundred, then we can think about it. Knowing your means like I know, right? Everything's like thousands of dollars, right? Nothing is cheap. Do I plan on buying the shit? Hell to the yeah, okay? I'm definitely buying the lipsticks. I'm definitely buying the brushes. I'm definitely buying the blushes, okay? J and because it's the pink. All of the things that I love the most in one place. Pink and Hermes. I mean, can't beat that, right? The next bag I wanna talk about is this one. I think this bag is pretty cool. I think it's more of a modern look than Hermes usually does. A bit younger look as well. I like the detail of the lock. I like kind of like the strap is a little bit more of like a a cool vibe, right? Now, you know, would I buy this bag? I don't think so. If I had to guess, this bag will probably cost what? Five to eight thousand dollars. It's not my personal style. And I'll tell you one thing that I really doesn't do it for me is the contrast stitching. If they launch other versions without the contrast stitching, I might consider maybe, I don't know, I don't know, very little chance that I would consider it, but I would like it better. The contrast stitching, in my opinion, makes a bag very casual and kind of like sporty, almost like nautical. 
and that is a huge turn off from you guys so even when i did my hermes special order you know you can pick what kind of stitching you want for your bag tonal stitching which is matching the color of the bag or contrast i would never pick contrast stitching I think if my SA offered me a bag with contrast stitching, I don't think I would take it because I dislike it that much. It's too casual, too sporty. If I'm going to spend a shitload of money on an Hermes bag, I want it to be tonal stitching because then I can wear it casual and I can wear it fancy with more of a classic look. But again, I do think that this bag is kind of like a hip bag that would possibly be a hit with a young crowd. The next bag launch that I want to talk about from Hermes is this bag and it's called the trim i actually just saw this bag at my boutique here in orlando and i think this bag is really beautiful this bag existed before a few years back from hermes in bigger sizes and now they are re-releasing this bag in smaller sizes i saw a smaller size that i believe was a size 24 at the boutique and i thought it was really pretty this shape bag is super hot right now guys i don't know just pay attention at the new releases very much like the shape of the Gucci Jackie bag very much the shape of the hottest Prada bag right now if you look at the brands they are all launching this shape bag because I feel like this is probably kind of the next season's it bag and the price is not that bad guys it's around five thousand dollars which you're probably laughing in my face right now hearing me say five thousand dollars is not that bad but for Hermes is not that bad. If you think about all of the other Hermes bags, like the Gypsy Air, it's seven, eight, nine thousand dollars. Do you know what I mean? So five thou for Hermes bags is actually a more kind of like decent price point. The next Birkin I want to talk about is this one that Hermes posted on their stories, and I almost fell off my chair. I love this bag guys I love this Birkin I think it is gorgeous and modern and practical and I love all of the details with the pockets now here's the thing I only like it if there is contrast colors right so you can see in this one that I showed you there is like the flap is in a dark color and then the body of the bag is in a different color more of like a beige taupe kind of a color and then all of the details are contrast it would have to be like that because I saw that Cardi B bought this bag all in one color. I cannot remember if it was green or beige. I didn't like it as much. I kind of, I don't know, I thought it looked washed out. Do you know what I mean? But this one with the contrasting colors held to the yes. And I love pockets. Pockets are practical. Think about you. You're able to put your lipstick in one pocket, you know, your cards in another pocket you're blushing another it just makes life easier your passport you know whatever it may be so this bag is right up my alley now the next thing i want to show you is actually from the fashion show as well and is this bracelet right here if you look closely this is like a double bracelet and it has a lock and i thought that that was so gorgeous chains right now are hot thick chains on your neck on your wrists it is the look right now so i thought that that looks so in now the next bag that i I want to talk to you about also a new release i mean i think this bag is pretty but does it rock my world not really it's kind of like a classic typical hermes bags i feel right classic understated sometimes they have a little bit of detail with like some metal hardware so i think this fits very well with the hermes family but again this is not a bag that i would pull the trigger on the next one i want to show you is this hermes with this harness which has a cross body strap okay now guys this i dig i dig a lot because i really hate that i have to kind of like carry my birkin from the little handle like this it makes it a nightmare how amazing if when i was traveling i could carry my birkin as my travel bag and have this harness to be able to carry it on my shoulder i mean that would be a flipping dream come true i'm not kidding you guys i don't know if you're gonna like it because i feel you know the, the this harness look takes a little bit away from the beauty and classic look of a birkin i think it makes it look a bit more modern maybe a bit more masculine maybe a bit more equestrian you know what i mean i feel like it brings a little bit of the horse vibes that hermes has 
and I think it makes them more apparent and I think there might not be everybody's cup of tea, do you know what I mean? But from my point of view, the practicality of it would be so worth it. Hermes, why don't you make this flipping harness with a crossbody strap in every color, in every leather, and we can buy them like either matching our bag or like with a contrast color to have a little bit of fun. Guys, I would totally buy that because it would be amazing to be able to carry my Birkins on my shoulder. Again, I'm very curious to hear what you have to say about this. Do you love it? Do you hate it? I think you're gonna, you guys are gonna hate it. In general, I mean, I think we need to be very appreciative that Hermes is launching new stuff for us to have fun with, you know? I am down for innovation. I am down for novelty. I wanna go to the store every season and see a bunch of new stuff so I can continue to want their stuff and buy them so I can get my Birkins and Cal right so anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the video today thank you so much for spending your time with me taking time off of your day to just hang out with me it makes me so so grateful I'll see you on the next video love you bye